hello everyone so in this particular video we'll be looking in the next step of having our blog to be able to go to a separate pages that's that shows the content of a particular blog so as you can see here let's say if i want to click on how to code the code i mean this particular page should be having the content that comes from blog one only and that's that's the thing that we would like to do and that's a way to do is actually there needs to be a id here example slash blog slash followed by id so this id is what we're gonna use it as a parameter and then you just need to just need to use that parameter for example let's say one and that one should be able to match with the id that we have in our blog so we have a blog with we have two blocks which is id one and id two with so with, with this two id we, sh we should matching the the, the I mean, we should matching with the ID one, and that's how it co it's gonna be about. So that's how that's how we're gonna do. So let's go back to our main page here. So how are we able to accept? I mean, the next the first step we need to do is to make sure once we click on how to code or block two, we need to make sure that we need to, we need to show that this particular ID should be uh, should be here should be presented here. So let's say if I were to click on how to code, it should say blog slash blog slash followed by one so this is this is what we should achieve okay and it should be dynamic not just one when i click on block two it should show two and the reason the reason is being uh, let's say look, let's go to local host uh, one double three seven and the reason is because we are having one and two is because it's already we have already like uh, Mixed. We have already made the ID to be one here, and then there's two here. So that's how it works. Just need to match. Just need to match with the blocks here. 